I know I said I'd come back after Christmas. I know I said I'd come back after Christmas. But I'm here, so whatever. It's Christmas Eve. Very extremely disappointed to learn that. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'll take it, just in case. Very extremely disappointed to learn that the Christmas Eve daily is not a Christmas Eve run. Instead, it's a Maggie run, which we are also often pleased with. We are going. Where are we going? That looks like... Is that the, the, the dark room? Maybe it is. What's our first boss? It's a double monstro with two helpers. So Santa's little helpers here. I've got to go first. Help. <laughs> Maybe we can encourage one of them to drop a bomb near Monstro himself. One of the two monsters. We didn't really get much of an upgrade uh, from from our item room. Uh, the Ankh will bring us back if we die as Blue Baby. So, a bit of out of the frying pan into the fire thing going on there. So, Merry Christmas to me, I guess. I wonder whether there's a Christmas daily. I don't know whether I'll do it, but I'm not really going to be spending Christmas Day itself with any people who will complain if I did. Uh, it's not like I'm going out of town or visiting any... That's all happening the day after, so... There's unlikely to be a Boxing Day daily. A Boxing Daily. Look. This is a good time of year for puns, okay? If you... Make enough puns, then people start to hate you. Uh, more HP? Sure, why not? We should explore. There's only a minute and a half. See if we can get some cash. See if we can get something out of the next floor. Maybe an arcade. I want a bomb... I don't know what I want. This is this seems like a perfectly standard run. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any special stuff going on for it. Maybe all the item rooms are dinner like they were for that damn Isaac run on Thanksgiving, I think. Nothing special about it, though. No bomb has been forthcoming, so we can't check alternative means of getting bombs, which usually involve bombs. So we'll just go. Two minutes on the first floor is fine. Uh... Uh, I should do this now if I'm going to do it at all, I suppose. Ah, this is a great reason to have been in here. The mark uh, gives us damage upgrade, which is good as Maggie, but also the HP back that we spent on getting it. We will, of course, incur the damage penalty for having done so. And we have to consider that because it is a daily run and our score is the most important. Ooh, I thought, really thought that I was going to hit it with my tears when I uh, made that particular manoeuvre. I guess it wasn't to be. No Christmas spirit on this game. These, are, these runs are going, these floors are going okay. Yesterday's run was mediocre, I, I guess. Um, looks like we probably could have gotten to the curse room for free, but, you know, such is life. Wow, this is well worth it anyway. We should blow this up too. Uh, I realise that perhaps many... Mm, this could be good. I realise that many people probably... Uh, did what I had been talking about at the start of that run, and oh, I really want to go in there as well. Maybe we can buy a bomb at some point. Um, and help. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Stop distracting me, enemies. Uh, they probably used a self-sacrifice room to get down to the dark room. There was one, I think, on the last, the second iteration of the uh, of the depths two. So I guess we had that opportunity. Let's re-roll these and see what we get. Okay. Not much better, I suppose. <laughs> Could it have been... I don't really understand the D10, because why would I re-roll most of the enemies that appear? I guess later on you can re-roll difficult things into easy things, but at this stage of the game, it's not like it works on bosses. You know, It genuinely doesn't work on bosses. So, does it? Can we re-roll the... No. I thought we might be able to re-roll the troll bombs. Um, that seems like a an enemy type thing. Oh. Get, leave me alone, get out of the way. So we're very slow as Maggie, it's difficult to run away from those troll bombs at least. But the, the damage upgrade from the Mark has really improved Maggie to a, a viable character, just for this run at least. So I think we have a good chance of actually achieving our goal. Uh, which is obviously to get to the dark room. Now, I presume this means that we still have to actually take the photograph. Because we get given it at the end of the mom fight, you, you get a choice between just it, basically. Well, another damage upgrade is good. You get a choice of one thing. I will take this because it's considerably better in every respect. 
Uh, and I think we'll leave just to try and get to the boss rush thing. There's only a couple of rooms left, I expect. Um, and we did get into our item room, so I'm not too concerned. In here, we have a reason to bring bombs. Ah, that's a shame. Pandora's box at this stage, I think I will just use straight away. We do get a speed and damage upgrade, which are two things that Maggie suffers from, so it was definitely worth coming in here, despite the fact we couldn't open that box. Never mind. Uh, we should use this on a regular basis. I don't think, by the way, that it can be used to open stone chests, so I didn't misplay too much. Ooh, ooh, oh, I don't like these things. <laughs> they do have a habit of shooting exactly where I think they're not going to. Please. Oh my god. Right, they take a lot more hits than I expected them to. Which uh, doesn't fill me with confidence. You have to know when to move and when not to move. And you have to keep an eye on everything else in the room as well. Which is a pest. And they steal money from you when you get hit. Never mind. Alright, it looks like a secret room could indeed be next to the curse room on this floor as well. I should definitely think ahead and check for that in the future. There's a bomb, which we can use to find out. No! Ah, good. Well, I feel vindicated at having taken the damage. We should go into that mob trap room whilst we're still here. Don't make the mistake of not playing the mob trap room, which I actually didn't notice the first time around. Um, the point value of doing it makes up for the time spent not doing it, unless the time spent not doing it causes you to miss boss rush. Uh, since we spent a little bit less time on the previous floor, I think I can invest this time here. I would like to get a sort of a fire rate upgrade. Maybe, uh, well, obviously, Torn Photo and Cat and Nine Tails, I think, are possibly the best tiers upgrades you can get. But even something like Skinny Odd Mush, wow, <laughs> that was a really good shot. Uh, even Skinny Odd Mush, which gives us a small damage downgrade, um, I think the fire rate at this stage is going to be more valuable to me as a mediocre Isaac player than. Oh, really? I didn't know where to put myself. Probably should have spent that on this room. Again, a bit a bit rusty, a bit... Still feel like I'm in my slump. Um, I've not tried to train myself out of it. I do feel like it's wearing off. Flush is absolute horseshit. Uh, I feel like I am at least starting to pay some goddamn attention to what's happening in the game. That was just really bad. I... Recognize what I was on. <laughs> Come on, bonies, die. I recognize what I was doing in that situation basically as soon as I did it. Oh well, here's a eternal heart. We've taken a lot more damage than I'm happy with. And our tears are big, but I feel like they are weaker than I'm expecting them to be. So I'm, I'm kind of in, under the impression that they should be killing enemies that they're not killing. So I, I, I'm assuming that an enemy will have gone. Just like that spider on the first floor. I'm kind of assuming that the enemy will have already completed being shot. At least we're one-shotting the small flies. Uh, and therefore, I'm moving into the position where the enemy used to be, and the enemy's still there. It's it's a bit of a, a brain anomaly. I should probably work in. See if these bomb flies would like to not be part of my, uh, my field right now. The tableau, that would certainly... How many are you going to make, you bastard? Get out of the way. Didn't have... I just, <laughs> there's, no, there's no position you could be in, I think, to resolve that particular problem. Thread the needle. Oh my god, how many needles do I need to thread at once? Get rid of some of the riffraff. I'm trying to set up a chain reaction, but they're all slightly too far apart from one another. Just get rid of the source. <laughs> just avoid all the baddies and get rid of the source. That's what we need to do. Right. And now we can concentrate on these. They don't have too much HP, especially with our current damage. So, once we have some freedom to move around... We're better off. Binky just gives us that extra spirit heart there. And we will mature our eternal heart. 4 HP is fine. I will try to remember to use... Uh, there's probably not going to be a secret room next to this one. I'm going to try to remember to use uh, the... I do not want cursed eye. The, the nail correctly. Rather than go, oh, it's ready. Get myself a spirit heart. Actually, wait till the next, next room. Get some damage. Bonus. If you can, aim it so that the room that you use it on... Ooh, there's a battery. So I'm not going to use it on two separate rooms. It's good to try and aim it so that the room you use it on is actually a difficult room that was worth the damage bonus. But honestly, 
just using on the next room in all situations is... Oh, could have got that. Never mind. I'll tell you what. We'll come down here. We'll get these extra bombs by doing this. It was basically a free charge, right? We could have used it on a, an actual combat room, but I wanted the bombs. I didn't really have it. I think I had one. Not enough. Not enough at all. There's a key. The key will get us into our shop, which is probably worth the effort, I would suspect. With 28 coins, and the only thing we lose for using them is points. Although, points is the name of the game. Well, it's not. You know the name of the game. It's Binding of Isaac Afterburn. Maybe points is the name of the channel? I'm not sure. Points is the name of the person who beats us. In the leaderboards. I'm sure points is involved. Shop. Hmm. There's options is excellent, and we'll probably make our run a lot stronger. Eh, has a chance to make our run a lot stronger. We're going to blow this up and pick this up. Two parts. Uh, apparently you can get greed out of these things. Well, we've learned something today. When did that start happening? We beat him. We got a lot of coins for it. I was only hoping for five coins. I suppose having to fight for a few extra coins is not, you know, it's not a terrible trade, although I would have appreciated the option. It's like when you... You're in a shop and you buy something and say, well, we don't have what you wanted. But if you wanted to pay a bit extra, you could have this upgrade, which is just, to all intents and purposes, the same thing. A bit more expensive. You'd, you'd like to have the option of saying no. You know, I can't afford it. I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the time it costs me to actually earn the money involved in that transaction. Rather than saying, well, we upgraded you and now you have to pay more money. You're going to say, well, I'm not going to pay you that money. Careful. Oh, we can smash these poops. Maybe we should. <laughs> uh, this is a particularly pesky fight because of the way Mega Fatty has this quick jump, which you have to either be far enough away not to be affected by or react to. The big jump is fine, although with those... Oh, jeez, I got hit. Not in my best interests, I'll be honest. It's going down pretty quickly, though. Just like your mama. <laughs> it's Christmas, I'm allowed. Uh, we will take this. The HP is probably going to be valuable. We'll take this. Now I think about it, is either of those better than the other? This is the thing about there's options. It has to actually give you options that are... You know, there has to be a clear winner in the options for there's options to be valuable in the first place, if it's just going to give you two crap items, neither of them is really an option. It's what we call Obson's Choice, isn't it? No, oh, not this room. Anything but this room. Right, that one's dead. Oh, we're doing enough damage to clear this room out reasonably quickly, which fills me with confidence for the fact that we'll be able to beat said lamb. Uh, not that I've said lamb yet. The lamb that I should have obviously mentioned. Uh, I don't want it. Game Kid can be good. Oh, we could play that, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend the time it would take, nor the HP it would cost me, to use the blood bank to get into the mob trap, the boss trap room, which would then cause me to spend time fighting bosses, which could be um, the champion bosses, which killed us the last time we played Maggie. I just walked away from the mob trap room, by the way. And, and there's another thing: if I'd played the boss trap room, there would be no way I could get into this mob trap room right now. So. Kind of swings around about the boss trap room is probably worth more. Um, but in terms of time, I think the mob trap room will be a, a better proposition. Simply because the mobs in the mob trap room will probably go down faster than the bosses in the boss trap room. A pill. Relax. Well, there's more poop for me to not bother shooting. We'll do this now. Yeah, we can. Two bombs. Perfect. You shouldn't have. I know it's Christmas, but still. Maybe we get a lump of coal from Krampus. Maybe there's no Krampus because it's Christmas. Oh, not, not so great. Sometimes those randomly aimed radial shots are just right that you think you're going to get... You think you're going to miss them and they manage to hit you perfectly. Sometimes standing still is the right thing to do. I find often in Isaac standing still is the right thing to do. Uh, excuse me, please come back. Why are you over there? Because you're afraid of me. Fair enough. We should, might as well go this way. There's a room to do. That was worthwhile. 
And we can get another spirit heart. We're doing really well. Um, the spirit hearts every so often. We should use this here because I hate everything in this room. If we can fear the masks, then they'll stop charging us down. I didn't even get a sound effect for the damage I took there. Excuse me, I want my money back, Edmund. Guppy? No? Guppy? Well, we got the spirit heart back. We... Oh, careful. I think we're gaining HP, basically, as, apart from when I do things like that. Uh, simply as a result of being able to use the nail. It's not like we're using it very often. Ah, I'm just not going to take it. Keep myself the points. We'll subtract... 30 points from our score at the end and see how badly we did as a result. Uh, uh, shit. This room. What? Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll go this way. Hooray! Oh, jeez. The fear shot I didn't mention. We took dark matter. Dark matter is, uh, as an item is decent because of the damage upgrade, which Maggie always benefits from. Uh, but Fear Shot without the damage upgrade I would probably shy away from. It's very difficult to hit enemies. They become unpredictable, especially certain bosses. So, Fear Shot per se can be dangerous. Shit. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm doing well, but then the bonies just managed to hit me. I used to be bad at bonies, and then I got sort of comfortable with the concept of them. Bonies. Wow. Just... Kill everything in the room with my HP, that's fine. I'm not concerned about that at all. Uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to spend that, and I'm going to keep hold of it. And then we'll go in here, and... I feel like I should save it now, because there's a chance that we'll find the boss fight soon. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> there's a battery right there. Perfect. I mean, we've got to go to the lamb. We really need to be able to steamroll the lamb to get value out of it. The boss has to be up here, right? What are we on? Depths one? Yeah. So, I feel like the slump is abating. But, ooh, careful. I still keep... You know, you, you press buttons thinking that your brain has got you back. It turns out your brain don't got you back. And you really need to start concentrating more. Um, you can't run on instincts all the time, I suppose, is the... The... The, the lesson here. You feel like you should be able to play the game on instincts, you know. Put yourself here, you'll be out of the way. Dodge this in that direction, you won't be... You won't come a cropper of that, but it turns out that's not the case. If uh, Loki would like to... See? <laughs> if Loki would like to not stand in line with the thing that's going to hurt me, that's fine. I think we will take... This. It's just damage and range. None of the... Uh, this benefits, I suppose. We don't need the HP that Blue Cap gives us, so... I'm just going to go with the damaging half shots every so often. We'll go. We need to make sure we get to boss rush, which is this floor. So we, I just wanted to give ourselves enough opportunity to completely fail to find the boss fight in a reasonable amount of time. Still get to the boss rush. Should we do this? Mm, let's blow it up. We did get an HP, so we could have played it. I'll just take the money and run. Yeah, we'll um, check this. No, that's not going to be. I'm glad I didn't uh, spend the HP where I did. I.e. on the, the blood bank just now. Oh, Diva Baby's decent. Got two hearts here, which actually could have... Oh, now we've got a curse. <laughs> Great. What have we got? Curse of the Maze. Perfect. We've already beaten you, Greed. You turned up in that shop, do you not remember? Wow, I really thought I was out of the way of that. That's another one of those things. You you assume that your brain has got your back, as I said, in terms of whether a shot's going to hit you or not. Oh, larger, that's exactly what I want it to be. Um, apparently, I've lost that particular instinct as well. Which I suppose is the mechanics of the slump. You think you're doing okay, and then you're not. So... My assumption is you keep playing, you regain the the, the instinct. It's a question mark card. Double active item. Items. Right, we'll use two of spades. we we'll use the question mark card to get... Excuse me, I expected... <laughs> I expected two... Two, uh, two spirit hearts. I was promised two. I paid for two. Whatever. 
I assume double active plays your active card, active item twice. Maybe it just does it once, sort of allowing you to. Um... Ooh, copy. Mm, no. <laughs> nice try. It's a good offer, but I'm not interested. We did get a free spirit heart, basically, because um, we were able to use the, the active card. We should. Mm, tempted to use the thing right here. The the nail. Ooh, let's use Ipecac. <laughs> Buy everything. Explode. 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 We're probably going to get a few of these hosts. These turrets. I'm, I'm not too concerned. Are we going to spend this time? Uh, Emperor? Strength. We'll take the strength card. Ooh. See, I'm so used to firing in the direction that I'm about to walk that I forgot that I'm not supposed to when you've got Ipecac. It's fine. It's fine. We need to find the boss now. Excuse me. Thank you. Can't really get that, unfortunately. We're going a bit faster now, which is great, but uh, we're not going to get to boss rush if we don't find the boss. This is a, a problem. And also, we have to hit these things without hitting ourselves, which is also a problem. The thread are Ipecac shots between these fracking skulls, which apparently turn around and hit you. We've got 10 seconds to beat a boss we can't find. Uh, it's too far away. We're going to have to say no to boss rush, I'm afraid, which means we can at least afford to spend the time to look for other stuff. Like what, I uh, hear you ask? Well, hmm. indeed. We can still do Hush. Um, but unfortunately, that has probably knocked our rankings on the head. I thought we were doing okay. We were doing, we we're going really fast. Uh, but I always find that Necropolis 2 takes a lot longer than I give it credit for. And you can't trust that clock. Don't trust that clock. I used to trust that clock. Mm, secret room? No? I don't believe you. Secret room? As you wish. Uh, I used to trust the clock that said how well you were doing on time. Said where boss rush was going to be. But I think it evenly divides your time. Uh, die. Help. Between the, the floors. <laughs> Which is not how the game works. Yeah. I can't see it. In case you're wondering. There you are. A was is what we needed yesterday, game. Thank you for the uh, opportunity, though. Blank Rune does what? And Yara, okay. Blank Rune does Degas. Blank Rune does Ansu's. Which is not that worth it. I kind of want to take a Perth Row down. But we're not going to get any more item rooms or anything. So we should just take Ansu's, I guess. Ansu's. Let's go. Let's just go. Everyone's being a dick about it. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't got a trinket. We should take it. Safety scissors allows us to not worry about troll bombs ever again anymore. I wonder why there was a shadow over there. Did you see it? Ooh. Oh, there's shadows underneath these all the time. I didn't even realise. Well, there you go. You live and learn. Uh, this is a hectic, <laughs> a hectic fight is happening. I don't want it to be happening. I reckon uh, what's happening is Demon Babe is breaking apart enemies that have multiple stages, leaving me in the thick of it to deal with the rest. Uh, Mum, do you want to show up a little bit? No? I wonder if I can poison the doors. Maybe. Well, obviously we didn't make boss rush and we didn't apparently deserve a deal with the devil, but... Well. The devil is his own master. <laughs> right. Wound. Don't get hit. It hurts more. Shit. <laughs> yeah, just tempt fate. Don't get hit, he says, and just randomly wanders around. This is not a, a room I'm a fan of. Good. We could blow our way through rooms. You can blow the doors open. Wow, that was an excellent shot, even though it was random. Uh, I'm not going to. Probably should use this now. Since we've got a battery, we should use it straight away, huh? Probably not the most optimal use of said battery, but so be it. We just need to go fast on these two floors. We have to fight Hush, or we have, or we are just not a contender in this daily run. 
I'm not going to take that, just in case permanent Polaroid invincibility becomes a, a valuable option for us. Careful with those. Again with these radial shots that you have to sort of predict the trajectory of, kind of before they've even started trajecting. Uh, that is a hanged man card, which could be... Well, we should use this. What am I even doing? Yeah, we're going the right way. I'm going to check this secret room, because it's basically free. Uh, it's, of course, Super Greed, which I was ultimately expecting, but not too pleased about. You're going to let me in? Thank you. The cash is valuable from a points standpoint, but not valuable from a time standpoint. Although we do get a... Hush, uh, what am I saying? Shop. There's a shop at the hush fight, so if we can have enough keys, which we do. Um, wow, careful. Demon Baby's going for it. If we can have enough coins and enough keys, probably should have hanged man our way in here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so much for permanent Polaroid invincibility. Do I even want that? No. Seven keys is the hush keys. If we get more keys, then swell, I suppose. Splendid. Um, but we don't need them. I'm saving my charge on the nail for the boss fight. I'm not sure if it's going to be useful. The Ipecac shots are still extremely powerful, just straight off the bat. Hmm, but... Wow, I've not got anything decent out of these red chests all game. It's kind of a shame. Uh, hello? What's happening? <laughs> and Skolex is probably one of the more difficult bosses to use Ipecac against because you have to... Hello. Time your shots right. Why am I not getting hurty sounds? As you can see... Wow, I actually got it. That one part of Skolex that is vulnerable doesn't show up very often. Skolex, you're wasting time. We've got to be... Hush. Were you, were you not in the meeting when we talked about this? Uh, it turns out it's kind of a bit easier to do it with Ipecac rather than harder. This is decent. Do we get spun? No, one more. And I will spend the time to get this battery. Because we're extremely fast now. <laughs> and use it straight away on the next floor, I think. Not not on this floor. Right. Five minutes to get to Hush. We should have used the Ansu's card. Card. Mm. Rune. Rune on the previous floor. However, we didn't. Uh, so, such it is. I am stuck. I haven't made a ouchy sound for quite some time. Oh, I'm making a different noise because I've got the... Uh... Ouch. Wow, this has turned out to be a very bad room for me. And of course, we have Stompy, so we break into those. That was a shit room. I'm very unproud of that, but at the same time... How do you deal with it? Ooh, mind the creep there. Very fast now. Oh yeah. Three bombs. Right. Get to the hush fight. I'm just going to let you do that. Oh wait. Got all day. Haven't got all day actually, but I'll pretend I have. The HP is fine. Anything in the way of spirit hearts in there? No. Well, I guess it's this way then. Still not doing a huge amount of damage. I mean, this is not a tanky enemy. It's semi-tanky, but you'd think with these explosions coming out of our faces, we'd be doing a little bit better. The stars. Not much use. Hangman is also not much use, if I'm honest. But what are we hoping to achieve, I suppose? Uh, Glass and the beat two of you at once, so why are you even here? Oh, to give me a spirit heart. Fine. I, I accept those terms. Wow, I was going so fast that I had dodged one shot and hit another. That was uh, a very clutch not moving. I'd like to call it a dodge, but in fact I stood still and wet myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> Great way to start this room is to just walk into the enemy that you're exploding whilst you're exploding it. I do want to get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor. I think it could really improve us. Um, and I suspect that I'm about to 
completely squander my opportunity to do so by accidentally taking red heart damage as a result of the fact that every single shot I fire explodes close to me. Wow. Somehow I failed to fuck that one up. Try as I might. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, good start. And of course, there's all these rocks now. Oh, shit. I took red heart damage because I couldn't see the creep. Oh, shit me. Well. I guess we'll do this. Something in here must have a spirit heart, right? No. Whatever. Found the boss, though. So there is that. Let me through. <laughs> oh, okay, dude. Okay, okay. You're dead. That's helpful. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is a secret room. It's not. Let's fight the boss. End this eternal torture. How is that not the uh, correct way to kill these things? That was lucky. I find those things difficult as well because you. I, I don't know when they're going to shoot me. <laughs> and uh, as a result... Oh, maybe I should have used the hangman card on that room full of creep. What do you think? Um... Yeah, it's difficult to get in line for those turrets that fire lasers. Because they're going to shoot a laser directly at you at some point. So you have to keep moving. Just don't get hit. And we'll be okay. Wow! Nearly walked full tilt into the brimstone. We're nice and fast now, which, you know, counteracts one of Maggie's major failures. Devil? No. But we do get to do... Hush by about half a minute. Maybe we'll get some decent stuff out of these item rooms instead. <laughs> Anything good? No? 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 Decent? Got flight now. Uh... <laughs> it's um, funny you should mention that. I don't want those. We should take this. We should probably take this as well. Probably should have used it in the other room. I got a little bit excited. Scorpion is poison tears, which we kind of already have, but I don't know whether this sort of going to stack two poison effects at the same time. I'm scouting around for tinted drops on the off chance that maybe we can get some more spirit hearts before we go in. I mean, number one Ipecac, is that a good idea? It's going to reduce our range. Ah, oh, hell with it. Don't say I never do anything for you guys. Might as well take Fanny back. We're going to get hit a lot. That's <laughs> just, um, I'm just being honest with myself. Let's do it. So the correct play would have been to take the battery. Number one doesn't seem to have had too much of an effect. Actually. Would have been to take the battery and then wait until we'd beaten this stage and then used the, the item, the nail. To get a damage upgrade for the hush part of the fight. Uh, and a spirit heart. On the theory that this part of the fight, you should be weaker. If it actually calibrates. Which is uh, contentious. No one's entirely sure, apparently. Or it was a rumour and it's not true. One of those. So, this is going to last a while. <laughs> Sit back, enjoy the ride, I suppose. We need to avoid these more than we need to do any damage to Hush. It's going to be constantly poisoned, basically. As long as it's capable of taking the poison effects, it will be poisoned. Because we have two sources of poison. Because Ipecac is poison the explodey tears. And we've got um, Demon Baby doing the turret damage there. Normal tier damage, non-explosive. Now, people say that Hush has armor, and I don't understand what this means. It appears to mean that if you do a certain type of damage to Hush, it stops being vulnerable to that type of damage. It sort of gains not invulnerability, but reduced vulnerability to that type of damage. It says, executing amazing dodges, weaving through oh, fuck. Through bullet hell, whilst talking about game mechanics. Who are the people who make your games work? They make sure they keep running. Wow. 
These flies are not leaving. I was expecting them to fly off the screen, but they haven't done, so we'll just attack them with impunity. I'm not sure what it means. Because if I'm... I can't really change the type of damage I'm doing. I have one type of tears. And unless I can bring in a different type of damage with me, that's, that's my only option, right? I, I can't, for example, not use my Ipecac shots for a while. Luckily, I have Demon Baby, so I did indeed bring a different type of damage in with me. Uh, but you know, it's not always guaranteed that you have an alternative type of damage, so... Although the armor concept does make some sort of sense from like, the logic... I, I understand it, the words make sense. From an epistemological standpoint, I don't really understand it from how you're supposed to... <laughs> you know, counteract it, what you're supposed to do about it. So what, the Hush has armor. Can I do anything better than just shoot it until it's not moving anymore? Ow. Well, I could not hit myself, that would be a good start. Mm, I lost my eternal heart. I mean, taking red heart damage at this stage is entirely a problem because it will eventually kill us. It's not going to ruin any opportunities for us. Because there are no opportunities at this stage of the game anyway. Uh, we need to try to pick this up. Hit it. I think we're safe here. I'm trying to figure out where you're safe at this stage. Is <laughs> it's a question for the ages, I'll be honest. I think we're doing okay. Safe here? Safe here? Safe here? Let's just stay here, because we seem to be actually hitting it. And we'll just hold this button down and hope that we don't get hit. We're not getting hit, that's perfect. Keep going. There's an X on it, do you think it's a tinted rock? We are continually doing damage and I'm not sure why. But uh, I'm happy that we are. And I'm happy that these things don't reach us. So I think I'm just going to stay here. Like, each Ipecac shot is not doing a huge amount of damage, it's only a pixel or so. And there's a lot of pixels on that health bar, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, yeah, keep doing that. I'm happy. Whoa. Number one doesn't seem to really have affected us that much. I think these flies are chasing me, so I'm going to try and get rid of them. But I, I'd rather that they weren't. I've got a troll bomb! Hooray! Well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I'm not too uh, upset about my eternal heart going away. It would have been nice to keep it. Uh, I suppose if I'd thought about it beforehand, I would have realised I could take it on the way out. Um, but I guess I just took it. It was there. It was a thing. This is a very lucky place to be standing. Right? Please just end this eternal torment so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I've only got two hits in me, and then we're down to Sheol, which is going to be hard. Oh, shit! This is hard. HP, not keys. HP. What? What hit me? Oh, hello. We're Blue Baby now. That's interesting. What do we do about this? Hmm. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. So we've got Ipecac. Well, we try again. <laughs> we died once. We've got bombs. We could push bombs in. We don't actually have to hit with our tears. I'd forgotten we took the ank. But, in, to be honest, how did I even get hit? There is some blind spot going on in my brain at the moment, which I'm going to blame my entire slump on, because I just don't know what I got hit by twice in a row. Uh, I suppose if I play back the footage, it would be obvious, but... Whilst I'm playing, I suppose there's some element of what do you look at, you know? When <laughs> when you have to hit that target, you want to be looking at the target to make sure that you're sort of in line with it. Uh, pardon me? I'm pretty sure my tear exploded in front of me when there's nothing in front of me on which it can explode. It would be a super swell if my... Fanny pack could pay out with. We're done. I was going to say with a spirit heart, but whatever. 19,000, 2,000. That was an extremely difficult hush fight. I'm, I regret taking Ipecac because we got a Perthro rune on the same run. And 19,000, it looks like a lot of people died in basically the same place. Um, but there was a Perthro rune in the super secret room on that run. Where do we end up here? 2,000th again. So, well, consistent, if nothing else. Uh, 
<laughs> Which means if we didn't take Ipecac, we'd have had our fear shot, you know, lump Did we get lump of coal? No. Uh, you know, fear shot, small rock, normal tears that don't explode in our faces, and then whatever Ipecac we rolled into. Plus, we could have re-rolled Ipecac because it was next to a re-roll machine. So I think, entertaining as it may have been to try Ipecac, I should not have done it. But, there we are. Maybe I'll come back after Christmas, well-fed, well-rested, with some new toys to play with, and I'll come back to Isaac, all fresh and new, and the slump will be over. But until then, well, answers on a postcard. Place your bets. There's no, there's no betting. You're not gonna get a payout. Just saying. Right, this is my disclaimer. Bye.